Silver verb is a scaled down algorithmic reverb in comparison to platinum verb, but it does include a new feature of its own LFO modulation. Back in the early days of digital reverbs, it wasn't uncommon for the designers to add some LFO mod to the reverb effect, particularly to the reverb tail. The idea was that this would help to ameliorate any potential repetitive artifact from the digital delays that were building up the reverb, creating a richer and hopefully more natural reverberant sound field. There was apparently some disagreement as to just how natural this chorused reverb was, but the effect was certainly popular, and LFO mod was included in many high-end reverbs, including some of Lexicon's signature devices. Logic's inclusion of LFO modulation here, in Silververb, suggests that that kind of classic reverb sound may have been part of the goal in designing Silververb. More than just a little brother for Platinum Verb, Silververb should have its own particular sound to bring to the party. Silververb, naturally, has a number of the same controls as Platinum Verb, though some of them are presented a little differently. You have separate dry and wet controls for the original and reverb signals, and once again, there's a pre-delay knob for setting the time of the initial reflection. By way of simplifying Platinum Verb's high and low frequency decay and balance controls, Silververb presents a more intuitive control labeled Reflectivity, which, as promised, determines the virtual reflectiveness of the simulated surfaces. Higher settings make for a brighter reverb tone. You can also more specifically band limit the reverb tone with the low and high cut filters just below. Just as before, a size knob sets the size of the simulated room. But the next knob is a little different. It's a combined density and time control. This sets both the buildup, density, and decay, reverb time, simultaneously. At lower settings, you'll get a shorter reverb tail, but also a more grainy, echoey reverb quality, especially on drums. So for a smooth, short reverb, you'd have to raise density time and decrease the size, which will also shorten the decay. But given its signature feature, the LFO modulation, I'd assume Silververb is intended more for sustained instruments and voices, where a chorusy reverb tail could shine, than percussive ones. The modulation section is where you tweak Silververb's LFO. The controls should be familiar. LFO rate sets the speed of modulation, and intensity sets the strength. Keep in mind, the modulation is being applied to the reverb only, so don't expect obvious chorusing. Typically, the lightly chorused reverb effect should add some subliminal animation to reverb tales, a very subtle sense of depth and motion. Of course, you can dial up stronger effects. But usually the best results will be had with more gentle applications of modulation. The remaining control is the phase knob. As in other plugins, this offsets the phase of the left and right channels. There's a small power button for the mod section that you can use to quickly bypass the contribution of the LFO and phase adjustments.
Next up, another algorithmic reverb with its own specific approach, Enverb. <laughs> 